garage. Oh, by the way, I'm Seth. This is my first vlog. V vlog? Do you call it a vlog or is it a vlog or a video log? I don't know. Whatever it is, though, I'm going to try it. So this is my very first one. You, I'll give you a little feel for the garage. You can see behind me we have our little electric scooters. They're pretty cool. Here's my motorcycle. Uh, it's not a very good view of it because it's kind of dark in here and this isn't much of a camera. But you can see it's a uh, motorcycle with a sidecar. It's a 1962 People's Republican, People's Liberation Army motorcycle. See these? Uh, to buy a cooler in China is like $150 for one of these coolers. So I have three of them, and two of them are small and one is large. Why is that? Well, because I went to the, rather than buying them for $150, $170 on Taobao, which is like the Chinese version of eBay, I went to the factories, went to several factory websites, asked them how much they were for a container, and then said, can I get a sample? So these cost me 150 RMB, which is like 20, 25 bucks. So I figured, well, if I'm already buying them so cheap, let's get three and I'll choose the one I like the best. And then I can maybe sell the other two to some kind of, uh, you know, Western market or something. I haven't gotten around to selling them yet, but I did make root beer in one. And once you make root beer in something like that, it always smells like root beer. So this one now smells like root beer. So I'm making myself a little bit of root beer and I'll show you my recipe and share that with you. Hope you enjoy that. Okay, so what we have here is some water. Uh, there's no such thing as good water in China. It's all needing to be filtered. So uh, we have these big water cooler things called pongs. A neat little trick, you can put these right on your water cooler or you can actually peel this label here, peel that sucker off, and pop this puppy off, I think. There we go. And then you get access to good water. So here's my sweet root beer recipe for today. We're gonna pour a bunch of this water in here. We're gonna fill it about halfway. So we're only using half of a batch. A five kilo bag of sugar, which is about 10 pounds. Is that five kilos? I don't even, yeah. Which is the largest bag of sugar they sell as far as we can tell in China. So I'm gonna add about half the contents. It looks like about two kilos, two and a half kilos to me. We're gonna dump that in here real quick. Let's do that. Okay, all pour it? away. Yes, dump it all in. All righty then. Stir. Okay, while you're stirring that, well, I'm gonna go find the root beer extract or extract the root beer. So root beer in China is about $1.70 for a 12 ounce can, which is like uh, 350 milliliters, right? But we bring our own little batches of things with us. You can see, here's my secret stash. This is where the magic happens, right there. Concentration of root beer, pure vanilla, what else we got? Here's great value of pure vanilla. Notice they've been sealed on top because we take them in the airplane with us. To find one of these in China, I've never seen one, but even on Tableau, I think I found something resembling root beer and it was expensive as junk. So this would normally be a full batch, you'd fill it up all the way, put in a milk, no, I may have added too much sugar. Uh, no, that's about, let's see, two and a half kilos, about five pounds, yeah, that's about right, I guess. And then we're gonna add half of this. We're gonna pour exactly half of this. It's two ounces, so we're gonna pour exactly one ounce. It's important to measure, cut once, measure twice, or in this case, let your wife do it, because she has a better clue. I shook it up this time, too. Keep going. Okay, why don't you stop and see how close that looks. So that looks close, but I think you need a little more. Jeez, it doesn't look like root beer, does it? How's that? A uh, teeny bit more? What do you think, guys? I think that's about right. That looks good to me. Good. Okay, let's mix it up and see how root beer it looks. The only thing that can happen is it fails, and that's no big deal. Yeah, it doesn't look very dark to me. It's kind of like a really bad tea. Huh, sounds good to me. Let's eat it. Yum. Pour about half that bad boy in. It's very important to be precise. Precisely about half. Do it, man. Careful, don't splash. If it splashes, it's How does it feel to pour liquid? Keep doing it, dude. Solid. Yeah, we'll do it. So we'll oh leave it about half an hour. Goodness. See, because they're smaller pieces rather than those big pieces we usually use quarter. Let's leave this on the ground. So don't lay down there, you'll suffocate. Or maybe oxygenize. Luckily, our ice maker is working. Okay, uh, she came in today. Yeah, just... That's a made joke, by the way. More on that later. I didn't almost I can't even get to it. It's it just... too much ice. <laughs> I think it's more oxygenated by having ice in it so that it's cooler and temperature. Now what we need to do is, is uh, put the lid on. Where did I put that? Here it is. Check that action out. Go ahead, dude. But leave it on one side. We don't want it to explode. We're not creating the bomb. Okay, the root beer is now a brewing. Hopefully in about a half hour it'll be all bubbly and cool. We can try it right now, but that would spoil the fun. I think we may have added twice the sugar we need now that I did the calculation. You know, worst case, we can just add more water and root beer extract and call it a victory. We'll see how sweet it tastes. Eh, we'll see. I guess I could go look it up online, but that would ruin the fun. It's late, my wife's been shopping. Milk time. Um, After a careful taste testing consideration, we decided to add more water and more root beer since I added double the sugar I probably needed. 
tastes great now, but then we decided it was a little bit not very carbonated, so we added more dry ice. And then all of a sudden it was too full, I don't know why. So then we made a big old mess. It's all over everything. Pretty awesome, huh? What are these called again, Paul? These fruits? This fruit tastes like a melon, you say? It looks like a melon. It looks like a little pruned up watermelon that's been to Chernobyl and back or something. Does, are these washed? Can I just bite into it, Paul? So because I made the mess, my wife seems to think I need to be the one to clean it up, which I totally disagree with, but I get it. We have this cool little mop thing here. Check this action out. How do you like them apples? They do? Well, it's the first time I've ever used it. It's the first time I've ever used a mop in 10 years. Maybe you hey. know where the mop is. I found it! I found the mop! Uh-oh. Phone. I mean, doorbell. I'll get it. Look, there's another package! Woo! What package is it? I oh, it's just a big ugly package. It's nothing fun. Samantha! <laughs> Make a show, wushu woman. Show, wushu woman. Sorry. Oh. Oh. How then? Please say, leave me in. Did you leave me? Clean it. Get okay, our sweet package on. I have the opinion of why Why do the work when someone else can do it for you? Tied out of me? Shaka. You go on. Huh? Huh? Okay, yeah. She's here. Okay, Ali. Yes. Okay. Do you have a shower? No. Okay. Bye bye. Unfortunately, when we filled up all the dry ice and stuff in there, that looks like we've actually blocked the spout, so now we can't get to the, dry, the root beer. Just scoop it off. It just makes more? That's cool. Will it do that forever? Not forever until the dry That's ice. neat. How to videos. I have no idea what it is. Let me cut it some more and see how it looks. There we go. I'll try a bite of this. See how it tastes. Oh no, it's not. Hmm. Unfortunately it needs It's a really mild it's like a mild cantaloupe, Paula. Yeah, we already ate one. Who? Well, why'd you spoil the fun for me? Oh, you didn't. Um, yeah, it's like a mild cantaloupe, but I don't think you're supposed to eat the peel. It's based on how the texture of the peel goes. Not bad, though. Pretty interesting. I never had it before. If anyone knows the name of this fruit, let me know. So what we're doing here is making salsa, okay? So I'll show you the secret salsa recipe. Take a half an onion. I chop it up a bit. Throw in some random amounts of garlic. Throw in some salt. Add some lemon juice. And a little squig. You can't really add too much lemon juice, in my opinion. Then we'll add some cilantro. You can't add too much cilantro either. You don't actually need to cut this up, but the smaller the pieces, the better in my opinion. So I cut them a bit. Oh, I love the cilantro. It's good stuff. Stick it in the little hand mixer dealie that I got at Sam's Club for 20 bucks about two years ago. Yeah, that's a plug. If I get commission, I'm happy. If not, no biggie. I'll chop that up. And here's on its lost legs. Okay. Oh, geez, you know what I forgot? The pepper. Can't have no, no pepper. Eh, looks like a kind of mild one. I'll chop it smallish. Ooh, that's strong, huh? Notice what you want is a fine chop. You don't want it to be thick pieces of onion and garlic in there. What you do want are thick pieces of tomato. So you chop those first, then add the tomato. Okay, so now we have some tomatoes. I'm gonna throw them in there. And mix them up as best we can with this way too over full mixing thing. And done. And salsa. Yeah, salsa. baby. Good stuff. Okay.